leaving kickboxing undefeated as the pound-for-pound -pound monarch. How do you fill hospital beds with broken, contused bodies while pumping up your audience in style? You become Tenshin Nasukawa. That's how. In classic anime fashion, Nasukawa displays the art in martial arts with his sublime moves and deadly strikes that will get you off your seat. His signature strikes, the rolling thunder, and rear cartwheel make him the chief provider of spectacle in the ring that's as formidable as he is entertaining, leaving kickboxing undefeated and the man to beat pound for pound, even fighting across weight class to find a worthy foe. Nasukawa is so good that he fought the undefeated Mayweather, even though he was 20 pounds lighter than the heavyweight veteran. And dramatic flair of 24-year-old Tenshin Nasukawa what makes the somersaulting samurai so good? And why is he one of the hottest prospects in combat sports today? Let's find out. As a young prodigy, Tenshin Nasukawa had already accumulated a total of 107 matches in the amateurs. In 2012, he was offered $100,000 for a transfer to boxing. However, due to local rules prohibiting simultaneous participation in both disciplines, he chose to remain in his native element. The professional debut of 15-year-old Nasukawa took place in the summer of 2014. The rise of 24-year-old Tomo Arematsu got blown off his feet. Right away, Tenshin launched a long finishing sequence and concluded the encounter in just 58 seconds. Within the next half year, the samurai fully unveils the extent of his talent and the distinctive elements of his style that would make him a star in the Asian combat scene, complemented by a spectacular signature strike, the rolling thunder, and the rare cartwheel kick. In August, he joined an eight-man, one-day tournament at Phantom. Not interested in a war of attrition, Tension staged a massacre in the quarterfinals with zero chance of a decision and sealed the deal in 91 seconds in the semis. He decided to do some leg stretches early on to then unleash his callous fist and bruise his rival in a clutch battle. Unfortunately for Compatriot, Tension immediately plunged Nato into the abyss of despair and drowned him before the curtain fell, spending less than 10 minutes in a state of dynamic brutality. In addition to the title run in December, the Japanese phenom was tested by a Thai boxing ace the plot of the legend who had won gold in two weight divisions in Thailand's most prestigious stadium. Nasukawa managed to ride the wave of popularity by accepting an opportunity to compete on three weeks' notice under the Ryzen banner. The catch was that he had to wear MMA gloves. On December 29th, Tenshin stepped into the ring for the first time to face Taekwondo world champion Nikita Sapoon. However, once they hit the mat, the samurai came to the brink of defeat. Narrowly escaping the Ukrainian submission attempt, he reversed the position and stopped playing a grappler wrapping up the night with devastating ground and pound. Tenshin requested a second fight as a New Year's gift. Just two days later, he effortlessly forced the foe to endure heavy artillery, took the action to the horizontal plane, and further sharpened his finishing skills. The ballet of violence was over six minutes in with the victim passing out in a chokehold. After playing pinball with the enemy's hemispheres and finding a submission for the first time, Nasukawa dipped his toes in MMA twice in 2017. Francesco Gila's brain blue-screened inside 67 seconds. The poor guy miraculously survived a streak of brutal landings and spent three rounds regretting stepping into the ring. With four triumphs in MMA, the Japanese sensation promptly received an offer from the UFC. Nevertheless, he chose to return to kickboxing and promised to transition into professional boxing or mixed martial arts permanently within five years simultaneously. Tension did not neglect his beloved discipline, going to battle seven times in 2017. Former IBF boxing champion Omni had to withstand numerous big left hands to all levels. Oh, very quick. Eat it up. There's the proof fist breaking his chin. He goes over the top for a knockout and surprisingly was losing clinch exchanges. He had to pay. In the fourth round, Nasukawa opened a heavy fire at the midsection. Nasukawa has been so busy with his hands and his feet. Oh, nice lead up. Pounding him to assault pulp. 
The Japanese star boy would then defend his title quickly finding the opponent's liver and delivering a paralyzing blow to keep the ball rolling. A Thai boxing champion dubbed the Rocket was put through the ringer. Not long after, Nasukawa switched to show-stopping mode. He unleashed a flurry of spirit-breaking body blows, painful low kicks, and pull counterbombs. The rival was knocked down twice in the third round following a magnificent exchange of kicks. Rolling thunder echoed throughout the arena, captivating the audience with multiple collapses. Tension shifted the attention to the upcoming Ryzen Grand Prix at 126 pounds in the opening bout. He fearlessly engaged in a slugfest with a compatriot who burnt out faster than an overweight dad in a marathon. Filling yet another hospital bed with a new victim as Nasukawa advanced to the New Year's Eve semifinals. After realizing the fighter would be a better match practicing tap dancing, he disposed him with a middle kick and dusted off the flying license, sending the foe to rock bottom with a jumping knee. However, life would take a dramatic turn in 2018. In February, Swakim was sweating out his pants while the Japanese wonderkind had a counter-punching practice dominated in kick fencing and simply outclassed the two-time Lumini champion. Only his granite chin kept Swakim afloat in the later rounds. It didn't save him from humiliation, though. Going to the scorecards with the tie in an artistic manner, Nasukawa encountered a layup kamikaze. The MMA fighter named Nakamura proved to be a bit more challenging, mostly by diving for the hips at every opportunity. But Nasukawa had an ace up his sleeve. Once a fireball hit the target, the outcome became a matter of time, having painted the irritating enemy's face red. Nasukawa aimed for the inaugural rise gold at 127 pounds in a face-off against Rod Tang. The 20-year-old Tai Tank had issued tickets to the astral plane since turning seven. Those angles being stuck here on the fence had a brick that would make Mark hunt himself. The two ruthless wargs clashed in June of 2018, giving the spectators a bang for their buck right away. Early on, Rod Tang was chipping away at the legs and threw heavy leather on the offense in response. Tension unleashed low kicks and shifted his focus to targeting the torso. His strategy was to maintain distance and explode with combinations on the counter. However, in the third round, a fatigued Nasukawa would hang out by the ropes more often. He had to increasingly rely on a classic Thai boxing approach, catching kicks and executing foot sweeps. The samurai's activity shrank to single offerings. Meanwhile, Rod Tang utilized adrenaline in an attempt to secure what seemed like a certain knockout. To his surprise in the fifth frame, Tenshin caught a second wind, and after landing a few same-time counters, he managed to snatch the ending. The judges saw it as a draw, and the bout went an additional three minutes where the back and forth continued. Still, determining a winner didn't grow any easier. The slugfest of the year concluded in a close and somewhat controversial decision in favor of Nasukawa, who thus won his second belt. At long last, the Japanese prodigy decided on a career trajectory and embarked on a boxing adventure by facing none other than Floyd Mayweather. Considered one of the greatest boxers with 15 world titles and a record of 50-0, Mayweather was coming off an execution of Conor McGregor a year prior on the ropes, literally and figuratively. How was the notorious one still standing? The 41-year-old American had no plans to risk his legacy and completely switched to exhibition matches. Pay attention to this fight now. Okay, guys. Smiling from the outset, Floyd didn't see any danger in the debutante who jumped up two weight divisions, yet Nasukawa grazed his chin. No longer finding the Japanese sensation ridiculous, Mayweather turned off the safety. In 140 seconds, Nasukawa got dropped three times. Although you have to argue that into the fight, the Japanese kickboxer weighed 20 pounds less than Mayweather. Tension tears up, realizing that he lost. The samurai spirit couldn't protect the inexperienced young talent from the veteran sniper-like hooves, and Floyd left the ring with a $9 million check. The Nasukawa Consolation Prize was quality ring time and a mountain of fame that would continue to grow bigger. He'll take it, knowing he does not have to prove a point to anyone in the world, not when he still delivers head kick knockouts. Check out our top 13 jaw-dropping head kick knockouts. Stay tuned.